What's going on, y'all? Guru here, bringing you the week four matchup for my AFL league. Um, I don't know what happened. I had my week three game saved, and not really sure what I did, but somehow or another I fucked up, and I lost my week three footage. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I know I need to get a new MacBook. How about that? Because uh, my hard drive ain't that big. It only had like 50 Fuck. gigs of space left. So when I recorded the game, you know, it was like 10 gigs or whatever. Um, but I, I don't know. I guess I was trying to free up space, and maybe I messed up and deleted it by accident. I'm not really sure what happened. But anyway, so uh, I apologize for not having week three up for y'all. But anyway, so this is week four, divisional matchup, uh, the Falcons. Like I said, uh, everybody in this league is tough. So, you know, nothing to be taken for granted. Um, you know, starting out. Uh, let's see, I was one and two going into this game. I lost my week three matchup. And as y'all can see, this game started out pretty bad for us, man. We just, I, I'm not really sure what I got going on with these Saints, man. We don't really have an identity, and I think that's what the problem is. Um, you know, I, I did go ahead and bring uh, Drew Brees back into the starting mix uh, after this game. I kind of just said, all right, screw these rookies. Uh, I'm going to just rock with Drew Brees until he either retires or... Or, um, you know, I'm forced to do something different. But right now, trying out these rookies, it just it just ain't really working for me. And all I'm doing is throwing picks after picks after picks. Some of them are bad reads, definitely by me. Others are bad throws. Um, so, you know, I figure if I, I go with the quarterback, that has the best chance of making a good throw. So, anyway, that's that. So, uh, what else do I want to tell you all about? Well, I found out some crazy news. One of the leagues that... Um, you all know I used to be in. I found out it folded, and, you know, it is what it is. It's one of those things where I kind of saw it coming. Um, you know, you can't have uh, a whole lot of Chiefs and, and not too many engines, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, it, it is what it is, though. I heard they're, uh, you know, ran into some problems, and, and it just is what it is. But anyway, so uh, what I want to talk about today is what makes a successful lead. Um and for me, it's one of those things where, first of all, you, you know, you got to have a good core group of guys. I mean, that's a given. Um, but after that, you got to have a balance. Um, every league has to have some rules and stuff because, you know, if not, it's just ranked games. And, you know, I'm not one of those people that's going to sit here and talk shit about ranked games. Oh, all people do is nano and ranked games. That's not true. Um, you know, but at the same time, you know, when you're in a league, like, you know, you're getting some structure and all that. So you need rules, you need some structure, but there's a fine line. You don't want to have too many rules. Um, one of the things that I like about this league is the way they do things. Um, you know, you got trade committees in a lot of leagues. And when you think about what's the purpose of a trade committee, well, some people say, oh, it's to prevent uh, one team from getting taken advantage of. It's to prevent somebody from, you know, basically getting raped. Okay, I, I can agree with that. But also, it should be to prevent super teams. You know what I mean? You don't want somebody to end up building a team where, you know, it's basically the all Madden team or it looks like a mutt team. You know what I mean? Um, and one of the things that uh, I've experienced in the past, oh, y'all got to see this kick return. This shit, oh, my God, this punt return. He juked that man. And then it was just like, I mean, I don't know. I overran him there, got blocked there, missed the dive, missed that dive. That was a hell of a uh, punt return. Um, I, I started to edit it out, too. Um, not on purpose, but just, you know, I normally don't uh, put in the punt returns. Um, but I do remember that that shit was crazy, and I know that my opponent would have felt some kind of way because he was definitely talking about it in the chat um, on the Facebook page. But anyway, um, yeah, one of the things I like about this league, what they do for their, uh, like, trade committee, I mean, they have a committee. It's like 17 people. I swear to God, it's like 17 people. But they do, like, open voting. So you put your trade oh, up. and God. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like, I have no idea how that interception happened. Um, you know, you post your trade up or whatever, and you basically just need three people to approve the trade. And they kind of just do it out in the open. You never really have to wonder, uh, you know, how come my trade wasn't approved? Or, you know, you can ask questions and stuff like that. Man, this game was terrible, though. I'm sorry. I'm just watching this over and reliving it, man. This this was this was not a good game, especially against a divisional opponent. Now I'm down to I think one in four or yeah one in is week five now. Yeah, one in three. I'm one in three. Um, after this game, I'm sorry I can't count y'all. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I think it takes to to make a successful league, man. You gotta have um, 
you know, a, a good balance of rules, but you also don't want to have too many. You know what I mean? You want your guys to feel like they can control their own destiny per se. You know what I mean? Um, that's that. So anyway, um, one of the things that I'm going to start doing, I asked for some feedback from the league guys, you know, asking what they wanted to see more of in these videos. Um, as y'all can tell, I'm still a little bit under the weather, but you know, I'm making do with what I can, but, um, yeah, what I'm going to start doing, uh, I think for the second half is I'm going to start like trying to really break down the game. I'll probably get more into the edits and start trying to freeze frame and talk about reads and, and why I made reads that I read that I made or why I didn't make a read. Um, how about that? Cause bad as this game was, it was pretty much like I was playing the game with the TV off, but, um, yeah, anyway, so um, this game, as y'all can see, it's pretty much out of hand, man. We got our asses handed to us, came out, played like shit. I probably should have scrambled there. How about that? Um, you know, it's funny. You go back and watch a game, and you see, like, all the stuff you could have, should have, would have did. Um, block sheds was crazy, yeah. It was just a all bad all-around game, but I'm not giving up. Um, you know, the, the competition in this league is tough. I feel like, you know, I'm still <laughs> – look at this shit here. See, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like, you know, I'm still kind of in the mix, though, because even at 1-3, and three, I think, um, you know, we're still in the mix. So stay tuned, y'all, man. Gurus League Games, and I'm out of here. Next year, man. Peace.